Evening everybody, welcome along to number 31, we're the French family, Hello everybody, it's been a while, I know. Um, anyway, here we are, number 31, and it's wonderful to be here and hope you're all going well, wherever you are in the world. Um, drop us a, a comment and let us know um, where you're tuning in from. Please, and let us know what the sound's like. I think I've got it pretty good. I think it's but... all right. It's <laughs> What's that, Sonny? Decent. Decent. <laughs> Whatever that means. All right, so as usual, we're going to play some of our favourite songs, a few requests that we've had come in um, since our last show, and some of our own songs. So uh, what have we got first up? Oh, Lonesome Me. Yeah. Who requested that? I know I did. Yeah, you. This is for you, Stewie. Hope you like it. <laughs> Love this old uh, Don Gibson song, and it's been a little Western swing version of it. And we used to play it many years ago in the Feral Swing, not many years ago, but we started playing it many years ago in the, back in Australia in the Feral Swing Cats. Yeah. But we had to change key, so I've had to relearn my bit, so if I fall off, it don't matter, folks. All right? right. Oh. Hey, Sonny, how are you? Have you said hello to the... I'm good. Has he grown since you've seen him last? It's been a month. He's grown about a foot, I reckon. Yeah. You going good, darling? Awesome. Very good. All right. Have we, have we done one since I moved back from Colorado? You have to talk on the mic, Booth, you're going to talk. He's wondering if we've done one since you went to Colorado. Yeah. We have? We have. June. It's been a few weeks, though. Yeah. Let's do it. Don Gibson. One. Oh, sorry. Oh. One, two. Oh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Just a fool for staying home and having none I can't get over how he set me free Oh, lonesome me A bad mistake I'm making by just hanging around I should go out and have some fun and paint the town A lovesick fool so blind you just can't see out and fancy free right? flirting with the girls with all his charm well I still love him so and brother don't you know I'd welcome him right back here in my arms it must be some way I can lose these lonesome blues forget about the past and find 
Somebody new thought of everything from me. Sunny, ladies and gentlemen. Again, aren't we lucky folks to have this great rhythm section here? Mr. Dennis Crouch. Yay! And Eddie Yay. Anderson back there on the drum. Woohoo! The drum. The drum. Welcome. <laughs> you haven't seen Eddie with us before. He's he's played the Grand Ole Opry, I don't know how many times. Lots of times. At least twice. <laughs> <laughs> he's toured with Dolly Parton, Patty Loveless, and I'm not sure who else, but Welcome. Thank you for coming to play with us tonight. We appreciate it. And we won't talk about Dennis because we all know about Dennis. Yeah. It's easy to say who he hasn't played with, I guess, wouldn't it's it? true. <laughs> anyway, tonight he's with us. We aren't we lucky? Yeah. Well, I mean, this is a song that Stewie wrote um, with one of our dear friends, John O'Day, back there uh, in South Australia. It's one of my most favourite songs, actually. I really love it. And John actually recorded it on his last album. Yeah. So. But it's pretty true. It's about, well, when I helped him, he came up with the idea of writing a song about his dad. And so I related it to my dad. And his dad were very similar, obviously. And nearly everyone's dad's the same. So um, the song tells the story, so let's do it. One, two, three, four. No handyman's complete without some twine under his seat. For big jobs, use the pliers and some trusty wire. These ways that used to grind my gears have rubbed off on me down through the years. Is it Mother Nature's plan? I'm getting more like my old man. He never threw a thing away. It might come in handy, son, someday. Then he'd put it up in the shed with all the other stuff he kept. Back then I didn't give a damn But his ways have made me who I am 
Is it Mother Nature's plan? I'm getting more like my old man. Fate does what it wants to do. So embrace it if you can. I'm getting more like my old man. Now his jokes were old back then. Now I'm telling them again. Pull my finger, he would say. Like my young bloke did today I'm not sure where he's got that from Somehow his granddad passed it on As I'm watching how he stands I could swear that's my old man In the picture when I see his smile In the mirror I can see his eyes I even walk like my old man Today, if he heard the music that I play, his life echoes through my pen when I think of him again. I understand now what he heard, the meaning behind every word. Firm shake of a hand, this one's for you, my old man. Fate does what it wants to do. So embrace it if you can Is it Mother Nature's plan? I'm just like my old man Just like my old man so much yeah. so cool well it's true it is true and we miss your dad <laughs> hey we miss your dad so much oh, yeah, I Nev. Miss nifty my yeah. dad was uh, actually i'm gonna do a bit of bragging about my dad he was a world champion wood chopper yeah. and he still holds a world record at the sydney easter show and um he set that in 1972 and it'll never be beaten because when he set that record it was a 15 inch diameter block and two years later it changed to metric so it became 300 and I don't know 80 mil or something whatever huh. slightly yeah. smaller so it'll never be beaten oh, there you go. yeah funny story one day he was telling me he um he was in a wood chopping arena where all the axemen are you know, and they're testing their axes at the end of a race and seeing if it's sharp whatever and this he watched this race and this old bloke got up on the underhand block where you cut between your legs you know wood chop and the axe come, off, uh, come through and cut his big toe in the sand shoe. The end of his, his, what do you call his runner, cut the end clean off it and his big toe went with it. And the paramedics come running over and they said, it's a clean cut, we can stitch it back on. He said, I don't want it. It had an ingrown nail. <laughs> and he was serious. He's an old bushy. <laughs> Are you serious? The dad laughed. He's, you know, he often told me that story. I don't know if it's true. Well, the American team came to Australia yeah, well, quite a bit. I grew up with a lot of people that would have said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to change guitar, Sonny. You want to talk about this? Oh, yeah. This is on I Heard. Um, back in Australia, Dad used to record a bunch of Australian acts in his studio that was underneath our house. And um, so I, I grew up just like I'd get home from school and just hear like the songs from whoever he would he was recording at the time. And like this song in particular is one that I, I just loved for some reason, but 
Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's like a very Australian song, isn't it? Um, it was written by Jeff Brown, but yeah, we really love Jeff Brown. He's such a good singer and songwriter, but yeah, it's called, the song's called Kamikaze Kangaroo. And the thing is, Jeff Brown is a, is a singer, a songwriter and an artist over there. He's won golden guitars, but he's also a truck driver. And he's got a road train and he's always in the outback driving around and, and he's always complaining and he talks like this. He says, those flaming kamikaze kangaroos, they come out in front of you. He said, you can't stop. Because he's, yeah, he's a truck driver. Right? He's a trucker, yeah. And anyway, he called me from his sleeper cab. He was waiting to get a load of um, cotton or something. And he said, I've just written this song. Have a listen to it. And he played it to me over the phone in his sleeper cab of his truck. And I said, that's great. He said, I don't know if it's any good or not. I said, it's, it's good. <laughs> so we're going to do it. Right? Yeah, you're going to do that thing and I'll count it in. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Go, go. Tempo. Get faster. One, two. Oh, one, two. <laughs> Kamikaze kangaroo, not a real bright thing for you to do Like playing chicken with the bulldog man And when the bull bar knocked you down and your shattered bones fell to the ground Ten sets of jewels went straight across your back Ten sets of jewels went straight across your back You were nowhere near the road that day but you thought it might be fun to play again you heard the road trains roll on From a patch of roadside scrub You hopped, you put your foot down When you should have stopped It's a game you and your mates will play no more It's a game you and your mates will play no more Life ended for you far too soon Now you're blown up like a big balloon on the road where the M-A-C-K pumbled you That's what you get for playing chicken Now there's crows and wedgies picking On your carcass kamikaze kangaroo On your carcass kamikaze kangaroo It's a stronger mate, the old emu Spitting feathers, guts, crap on your clean rib Well I even hit a wedge tail once He was far too busy having lunch On a swollen, blown up kamikaze pig A swollen, blown up kamikaze pig I've hit cats, dogs, foxes too Crows, galahs and cockatoos and kidneys to name a few Hold that Get across the track Just a bit slow for this bulldog back Like that Phyllis Kamikaze Kangaroo Yeah, that gutsy Kamikaze Kangaroo Yeah, that mongrel Kamikaze Kangaroo <laughs> He's just a little spongy. He remembers it from back in Sydney. Well, yeah, because Dad used to play it in the car on the way home from school. Yes. Listening to, like, the levels and stuff. It was pretty cool <laughs> driving out of school listening to Kamikaze Kangaroo and all the kids are going... <laughs> Who's this old fart driving out of here? Yep, this is a request for our buddy... Russ and all all the families that come and watch our live stream in Iowa. 
I've got a guitar here that Russ gave me. I should have it up here playing it, shouldn't I? Should anyway. Have. But you've got too many. That's the problem, Stewie. It's not a problem. <laughs> Sonny got given that beautiful guitar last week at Bon Aqua. Yeah. Um, at the Johnny Cash uh, Storytellers. Storytellers Museum. It's Brian Oxley. Yeah. He just walked in and we did a little show out there and he gave us that guitar it's signed by Alan Jackson. It's an Epiphone. And the next day, when I was telling Jimmy Fortune we got a guitar that's signed by Andrew Jackson. <laughs> and I said it would be worth a fortune if it was. <laughs> Wouldn't it? Mm. It would be. Almost definitely. <laughs> Jimmy went, Andrew Jackson. <laughs> All right, so we're going to give this song a go. Uh, for the good times, and uh, yeah, as Joey said, for Russ and uh, and all the kids in Iowa, Iowa. Did I say that right? Iowa. 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 No. Iowa. All right. It's such a learning curve, learning all these um, cities and towns and. All right. You ready? I'm just gonna remember my intro. <laughs> Hear the whisper 
believe you love me one more time for the good times for the good What a band, just got to say that. What a band. Well, thank you. The band, Gentlemen. what a band. That was beautiful. Chris Christopherson, what a writer. Yeah. Oh, doggy. Well, while Sonny's getting ready, I have a few thank yous um, that I'll, I'll get through here. Tom and Carol Covington from Columbia, Jules, um, Lamel, Andre, Geneva Tutaki um, over there in Blacktown, Sydney. Thank you so much. John Walker, Beth Jones, um, Dorothy and Peter Leinhardt in Switzerland, Sandra Prine, Betty Dowling, we love you, Captain Dave. Um, Adders, Adders, uh, George Whiting, Charles Scaff, Bobby Jones, Blake Johnson, and Bob Reed. Thank you so much. All right, Sonny. Haven't oh. seen any comments on the sound. It must be all right. I don't think just come up. I oh, know you weren't right. talking to me. <laughs> we've been missed. Oh, we've missed you too. All right, Fu. Um, here's our virtual tip jaw. For those of you. <laughs> They haven't heard me rant about it before, but the um, the link for it should be in the description of this uh, video. But yeah, so here's where you can share the love. Share the love. But yeah. So it's PayPal. What is yeah, it? PayPal for? or Venmo. Venmo. Camille French at the how French this, family. Like how this sign is still good. It's like the one thing that's remained. I know. From it the just beginning. lives on the, the tip jar sign. Yeah. <laughs> that ink has been there for like two years. <laughs> Well, we're going to go into the studio tomorrow and we're doing some recording, aren't we, Fufu? We're going to do a me and dad record. You know, remember me and Chet? They, Jerry and Chet? Well, we thought, I know we're not those guys, but we thought we'd do our own version of that. Stewie, I've got to interrupt and oh. tell you, everyone's saying the sound is great. So what? high five. G-R-A-T-E -E or no, G-R-E-A-T-E? -E. You've done a good job. Yeah. Good. That's his joke. Great. G-R-A-T-E. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as I was saying, we're going into the studio and this is one of the tunes we're going to do. It's not commercial music we're playing, we're going to do our favourites, a couple of originals, but this is an old tune and uh, we've modified it slightly. <laughs> and I just, we're testing it out on you folk tonight, everyone. It's another one of those country and eastern tunes, it's called The Slow Boat to China. a country in Eastern record, won't we? So, ready? Give it right, a go. Come on. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I stuffed it up. Blame me. Sorry, I jumped in too quick. Right. That would be the G-R-A-T. That, no, that was the G-R-A-T-E version. version. Now we're about to do the G-R-E-A-T version. Right. Look out. <laughs> Thank you. 
I got there. I think it'll make it. I think we'll get there tomorrow. <laughs> I was hanging on like a cat on a clothesline there in the key changes, but that's what happens when you play something for 20 years in one key and all of a sudden you decide yeah. to change it. Yeah, you decide to zhuzh it up a bit. Good zhuzhing, you two. <laughs> okay, zhuzhing. Yeah, zhuzhing. He zhuzhed it up. <laughs> You like that word? Zhuzh it up. There's All a right. lot of people probably talking like that down on Broadway right now. <laughs> yes. Zhuzh, what have you been drinking? Right. Right, We've got a very little special guest, a big special guest actually. She's been playing volleyball all day. All day. All day. How long? Ten hours. Ten hours of volleyball. Ready tonight, too. Look at her. This is Manaya, Manaya Pele. Uh, and she just had her birthday a couple of weeks ago. How old are you now, Moo? I'm 11. We fell in love with that song, um, well, Moo did recently, hearing the, uh, the Isaacs version. That's a beautiful version, that one. 
But then, Stewie, you said you used to sing that, that song at um, Sunday school back when in was, Australia. When I was in my uh, Sunday school band with my brother, it was a ch little church band, uh, yeah, that was our hit song back in the 70s. Now I'm giving it away, aren't I? You are. Yeah. Old fart. Yeah. We were big time. Remember, we had all the microphones, the bass, everything through a little old amp. Yeah. Guitars. Good times. Yeah. Mum, I'd like to shout out Nathan and Louis yeah. Leadville. Oh, yeah. I'd like to um, shout out my friend, Bill the Hendons in Colorado. Uh, Nathan is doing Leadville. What is What's Leadville? It's like the big race, right? Like, it's like 100 miles over, yes. he's doing it over three days. But yeah, it's biking. Yeah, mountain, it's mountain biking. biking. With his dad and his uncle. Right. Yeah, it's so cool that they're doing that. But yeah, They did 40 miles, then 20, and then they've got 20 tomorrow. So well done, guys. We're proud of you. We're cheering you on. All right. Big love, too, to Alan and Jolene. I know Alan's tuned in back there in Hamilton, New Zealand. Cares. What have you got, Sonny? Um, this is like the ultimate Mother's Day song, isn't it, Mum? <laughs> Not that it's Mother's Day, like, but... It's a tribute to Mum. Yeah. Yeah, it's just Steve Warner and Glenn Campbell that did this one. Yeah. How's your level two? You're up. I'm good. Alright. Yeah. One, two, oh, one, two. He got here red and wrinkled, scared and crying. Then she picked him up and hurled him to her breast. Show us glad to get what mama offered. Then she went to sleep and put his fears to rest. It didn't seem to matter what he needed. He could always count on mama to supply. And regardless of the sleep she might be losing He always found a twinkle in her eye There ought to be a hall of fame for mamas Creation's most unique and precious pearl Rocks the cradle, rules the world.
creation's most unique and precious pearl. Another change because Sonny's voice is changing every hour. So we change key every hour. And this one here, but yet again, new key. I haven't changed in a while for some reason. I'm no, still but in C. You did decide to zhuzh it up a bit. Oh, you got to so, zhuzh it up now. Don't you? Well, yeah. We had this way that we've played this. We've even recorded it a certain way, but this week he decided to zhuzh it. Okay, so. Well, we've played it before on the live stream a few times, like you say. I know, but not zhuzhed up like this. Well, we've done it zhuzhed up. We're going to make it a rockabilly song tonight, folks. Gentle on my mind. No, we're not. Hey. Oh, Wanda is watching. Wanda! Wanda, your song's next. Yay. You just wait. Wait yes. your turn. All right. Hang up. Are you ready? Are you ready for the key change, right? It's going to come in and I'm be ready. here before you know it. Straight on. Me and Dennis, we like this, aren't we, Dennis? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give it a go. Are you ready? Yeah. Give it a go, straight up. Okay. Eddie doesn't know what he's got himself in for here, does he, Anita? <laughs> Poor guy. I told him it was going to be easy. <laughs> he's still smiling. All right. All right, one, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> It's known that your door is always open and your path is free to walk. That makes me tend to leave my sleeping bag rolled up and stashed behind your couch. It's just knowing I'm not stuck by forgotten words and bones and the ink stains that have dried upon some lines. That keeps you on the back road by the rivers of my memory Ever smiling, never gentle on my mind It's not clinging to the rocks and ivy planted on the columns now that bind me Or listening to what somebody said because they thought we'd fit together walking It's just knowing that the world will not be cursing or forgiven When I walk along some railroad track and find That you're moving from the back roads by the rivers of my memory And for hours you're just gentle on my mind I 
I tip my cup of soup back from the gurgling crackling cauldron in some train yard My bitter roasting and coal pile and a birdie hat put low across my face Through cup hands round the tin can I pretend to hold you to my breast and fine You're moving on the back roads by the rivers of my memory And for hours you're just gentle on my mind Another great song, John Hartford song we're so lucky to have all these great songs to be able to sit around and play, aren't we? Um, again, here is the virtual tip jar. But yeah, um, so it's PayPal or Venmo. But yeah, there's where you can share love and chuck us a tip if you're liking what you're hearing. And we also love it when like you share the live stream. That really helps as well. Yeah. We love that, but yeah. And if you don't like it, share it. Just share it. Share it to someone you don't like if you yeah. don't like it. <laughs> All helps. That works. <laughs> All right. We mentioned Wanda um, just before. Uh, Wanda turned 95 um, a couple of weeks ago. And she is a, um, a friend that we met uh, through doing these uh, country music cruises out of Australia. And we, we travelled the world um, for a few years. And Wanda was always on these cruises. And when we met her, she was about 90, wasn't she? Yeah. Or maybe 89 or something. But um, anyway, she was just a, a cruise pro. And we fell in love with Wanda. And she reminded us a lot of Stewie's dad. She, was, um, she's, she is fiercely independent. Um, and uh, just... Wouldn't, okay. wouldn't let us help her. She was yeah. nearly 90 and she was walking these cobblestone streets and struggling. I could tell she was struggling. But I said, Wanda, can I carry something? No, I'm right, she'd say. <laughs> And one day, I know you've probably heard this story, but for those who haven't, I said to Wanda, I've hurt my knee and I'm going to get one of those little, those little bikes you hop in the back like a rickshaw and I'm going to get that back to the ship because I don't think I can make it all the way back. Do you want to come with me, Wanda? I need some company. All right, she said. <laughs> so we got in this rickshaw and it took us to the wrong ship. Yep. And we nearly missed it. Mm -hmm. So I, I walked back to the right ship and uh, for those of you that have been on cruises, you'll know that they don't wait. When they say they're leaving at five o'clock, they are leaving at five o'clock. And I reckon it was about five to five when Stewie and Wanda kind of made an appearance. Oh, I just left Wanda. I ran. <laughs> you did not. Yeah. But anyway, so the rumours were flying around our camp. Like, where was Wanda and her toy boy Stewie? Yeah. So uh, we wrote this song um, in honour of the wonderful Wanda. And we send you all our love. And we miss you a lot. We can't wait to get back out on a cruise with you again. Alright, I'll one, two, three, two, two, three. <laughs>
where wonder is now. Love you, Wanda. Hope you're going well. We'll catch up again soon. We will. We have to. Yes. All right. What have we got? Oh, okay. It's your new e food. I reckon Tony would love a song. Yeah, Tony probably would. We want to do a, a song for it. Wow. Wow. Lightning and thunder out there. Why do we attract this? We want to do a, um, a song. We'll dedicate this song to a, a great friend of ours back in Australia, Tony Gribble. Foo, that light needs pulling around a bit. You've knocked it somehow. Um, oh, yeah. Come back. I'll put it back how it was. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, our friend Tony, he hasn't been well. And we just want to wish him all the best and give him our love. And we're going to do this song. It's a Van Morrison song. I reckon he's probably even sung this song a few times. Mm-hmm. Our friend Tony, Tony, back in Australia. Oh, he's back in the Shire? Well, he doesn't. He's moved from the Shire. He lives up north. Oh, um, okay. Trying right. to think where? Right. What's the song, folks? Anyway, mate, this is for you. Um, into the Mystic. <laughs> It's called Into the Mystic. boat was one as we sailed into the misty Ark now hear the sailors cry smell the sea and feel the sky let your soul and spirit fly into the misty I will be coming home mm. Yeah, when that fog on blows I want to hear it When that fog on 
blows You know I will be coming home Yeah, when that foghorn whistle blows I wanna hear it I don't have to fear it I wanna rock your gypsy soul Just like way back in the days of old Magnificently we will flow into the mystic Come on girl Tony, and I hope you get well, buddy. Don't Rod, me. I just uh, read a comment from Rod Coe. Yeah? He loved your groove. Oh. That's our friend in Australia, Rod Coe. Yeah. Um, He's like the Dennis Crouch of Australia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hope you're well, Rod. Nice to see you joining us tonight. Yeah, Rod. Hope you're going good. Adrian. Adrian Brown. Yes, someone must have asked how old Sonny is. Sonny's 14. Manaya is 11. And Chet, who doesn't really play bass much, kind of at all anymore. He's focusing on soccer. He's 17. But guess where he is tonight, everybody? Uh, what? Yeah, he's gone to see Garth Brooks, who is playing tonight in Nashville. So I really wanted to go to that concert. And um, his buddy from school <coughs> messaged him to see if he'd like to go. So that's where our big boy is tonight. So I can't wait to hear all about it. I bet he's having a great time. He'll be converted. Yep, for sure. He'll be a country music fan. <laughs> All right, you're up, Stewie. They were having some struggles with the rain and stuff, I think. Thunder as well. Well, it is pretty bad out here. Yeah. Or a brewstone. Nissan. No, it's a Nissan. The seats would all be covered. I don't like old Gus that well. <laughs> <laughs> He's not like any crap. He can stay dry. Well, we got. <laughs> exactly. It's indoors. Anita Stapleton is sitting out here watching us tonight, folks. And she got to sing a lot with one of our favourite all time guitar players, Mr. Leon Rhodes. What a legend. And Eddie, you got to play at times with him. and... I think Dennis did too. He told me a funny story once about Leon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I'm not going to tell. <laughs> <laughs> it involved me subbing in the Grand Ole Opry band. Yeah, and that was yeah, it. Late 90s. Yeah, it was a good story. But Leon, what? He took me to school. <laughs> he took me to school. He took Dennis to school. <laughs> yeah. So Leon played guitar for the Texas Troubadours and lots of other people since the Troubadours, but man, he set the pace when it come to guitar playing, Western Swing style. And Sonny, when we first got over here, all he did was listen to Leon Rhodes and Hank Garland. And that made me have to practice as well, because I had to try and keep up. But we're going to do an old Ernest Tubbs song, E.T. And this is a bit of fun. And, uh, yeah. Sweetheart has gone, I'm so lonely Since she said she and I were through So I started drinking just for pastime Driving nails in my coffin over you All together I'm just driving nails in my coffin Every time I drink a bottle of 
bottle of booze I'm just driving nails in my coffin Driving those nails over you Drive a few the nails in I've been so sad and so blue I can't stop thinking about you And I can't stop drinking that old booze I'm just driving nails in my coffin Every time I drink a bottle of booze I'm just driving nails in my coffin Driving those nails over you I'm just driving nails in my car Every time that I drink by the food I'm just driving nails in my coffin Driving those nails over you Wow <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Hey Ah, you didn't do it That's a Leon Link, that one there Play it again, Sonny, show me what you did there Something like that. Sounds pretty good. All right. I'm going to do a request now. Um, it's from Gary. Sorry, Gary, I have um, forgotten your last name, but you requested a, a Conway Twitty song. I just, oh, do we? Have I jumped the gun? Oh, I have. Oh. I typed the set list and now I'm skipping songs. All right. We'll do that one. Hey, Pooh, you got your delay going on this one? You need it nice and long one. Fast or slow? Yeah. Slow. Very nice. A big hello to our friend Keith Weiss. Um, hope you're going well, and I hope that those pineapple lumps, um, I hope there's still some left. <laughs> Special treat from Australia. Well, I can't believe they made it here without melting. No, I know, but one bag did pop, but it didn't matter. That's all right. So, Except uh, the one you ate. I didn't. I wouldn't do that. But yeah, hi Keith and a uh, big hi too to the Love Days back there in New Zealand. Uh, all of my family too. Um, and all my family. I in New Zealand. Say, yeah. say hello to all my family back in Tassie. My little bro Jamie. He'd be watching. He will be if he can find us. He has a bit of trouble trying to find us on Facebook. He's too busy watching football. <laughs> My bro Jamie, he always rings at two o'clock in the morning here. Yep. And what do we tell him after two? If you ring after two, you're getting the poo. That's our little saying for Jamie. Oh. But what does he do? He rings at five. <laughs> in the morning. In the morning. <laughs> no, five there, which is two in the morning or something here. Yeah. And Cammy's not happy. She's like a rot wheeler with lipstick at that hour of the night. <laughs> <laughs> it's not pretty. Shush. <laughs> All right. I'm showing me how to use effects, folks. Not that I know. But anyway.
Good time, Charlie's got the blues. I love that song too. It's so beautiful. Good time. Oh, yes. Good? Yes, yes. So, before I jump the gun, before the song, um, Conway Twitty song, and this is one that I, I don't think I've sung since my days at the Gisborne Country Music Club. And that was a long, long time ago. Um, I think I was probably about 10 when I sang that last. 10 or 11. That was a long time ago. So anyway, um, this is for you, Gary. Hope you enjoy the song. Bit of secret, secret squirrel, brigade. squirrel back here. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Oh, I just asked Dennis. I said, was Comme Twitty was um was he ever married to Kitty Wells? All right. I just wondered because because she might have been Kitty Twitty if she was. Well, yep. Yep. Okay. He says we're, we're really missing that symbol. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Where's your symbol? Yeah, we did. <laughs> or Tex Ritter could be Kitty Ritter. <laughs> oh my God. I cannot take my husband anywhere, seriously. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Can I do this song now? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> People see us everywhere. They think you really care. But myself, I can't deceive. I know it's only make believe. My one and only prayer is that someday you'll care. My hopes, my dreams come true. My one and only you. No.
All right. Oh, thank you for the lovely comments. And uh, thank you again to everybody for uh, for tuning in tonight. It's so nice to see you all. We can't wait to go back and read all the comments. They yeah. kind of fly by. So we actually miss 90% of them. And sorry we've been so long since we've done one. I know it's been locked down over there in Australia and you're probably hanging out yes. to, for some sort of family entertainment. So we've, we've done our best tonight, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Just got to get moved back. Where are you, Manaya? <laughs> one last time. Here is the virtual tip job. So it's PayPal and Venmo and the link should be in the description. Yes. But yeah, this is going to be our what last song. Last so song, thanks for yeah. watching tonight and stuff, but yeah. Good job, Sonny. You're so good at that. <laughs> and here's a little Miss Manaya. Welcome back, darling. Are you tired? You had a big day today. Okay. She's just started playing volleyball, everybody. So look out. Oh, big day. <laughs> All right, babe. What you got? Oh, the walk of life. Uh, Auntie Jan wanted a die straight song, so really? Yeah. You well, this is for Auntie Jan. Back there in when you when you Tasmania. Yeah. So we've got Happy Jan, Jan. not not unhappy Jan, not, yeah. not happy Jan. Jan. <laughs> You're right, Lily. That's an Aussie thing. It was a saying going around there for a while. Not happy, Jan. <laughs> Wasn't Why? it? I don't know. But it stuck. All right. Oh, oh yeah. gee. Yes. Sorry about that.
fun. Can't wait to see you all again. Not sure when it'll be. Um, hi too to Scoop and his mum Anne. Big shout out too to uh, the McConnellsville, Ohio Valley Opry. We had a great time there the other week. Thanks for having us. See you again soon. See you later.